Brothers and sisters in Christ, peace be with you. It is indeed true that in this 14th Sunday of the Ordinary Time, we continue to read about discipleship as presented in the Gospel of Mark as a journey. It is indeed a journey with Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ and in Jesus Christ. For this Sunday, our Gospel reads from the story of how Jesus sent his disciples two by two ahead of him in order to prepare for his coming. When we therefore speak of discipleship as a mission, there are two basic characteristics as you will find in this 10th chapter of the Gospel of Luke. First and foremost, mission is all about being sent ahead of the Lord. That language you will already find in the story of John the Baptist. When John the Baptist was born, his father sang the Benedictus. And he said, And you, my child, shall be the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord. Going before the Lord, therefore, as a mission would mean an act of gathering the people for God. That would mean discipleship as mission is an act of gathering a people so that they too may encounter God. That is precisely the content of the proclamation of the kingdom of God. According to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, the kingdom of God consists in this, that in the divine plan of God, He wills to gather people so that he may convey his divine life in Jesus Christ and through Jesus Christ. Discipleship, therefore, as mission would simply mean a mission to gather a people for God. Our following of Christ is not only about ourselves. Our following of Christ takes on a very basic demand that after we have encountered the Lord, we too may bring others close to Him. That is why it brings us to the second aspect of this discipleship as mission. They prepared a people so that they may encounter the Lord Jesus Christ. Beautifully, at the end of the day, when we speak of mission, it is not about erecting buildings, it's not about programs. All of these are very beautiful and helpful. But at the end of the day, mission is all about bringing people to encounter Jesus Christ through whom the Father will to gather a people for His own. That was the mission given to the disciples. That was the content of what it means to proclaim the kingdom of God. But you see, in this 10th chapter as well, mission will never happen if they were not sent by the Lord. But sending them would also mean that the Lord had to call them, that the Lord had to send them, that the Lord of the harvest should provide for workers. That is why in the same chapter it is said, Jesus said, the harvest is great, but the laborers are few. When we therefore dedicate ourselves to mission, it is equally an obligation to pray that the Lord may send holy workers into the church. Praying for vocations is the beginning of our discipleship as mission. As St. Paul would say, how can they proclaim if they are not sent? And how will they be sent? if they are not cold? And how will they be cold if they are not the effects of our prayer? Mission, my dear brothers and sisters, is not only about going to foreign lands. Mission, first and foremost, is to allow others to encounter the Lord. Our prayer for vocations is our sharing of this mission 
we individually are asked to proclaim the kingdom. But there are other people far, far, far from us who are also willing to listen to this proclamation. How shall we share in this mission if not to pray for more vocations so that these missionaries may also bring the message of the kingdom to them? We therefore pray that as a community, as the church, that while we continually speak about discipleship as mission, that indeed the Lord has sent us ahead of Him to prepare a people for Him so they may encounter the grace of the Lord. It is equally an obligation for each one of us to pray for holy workers in the church. He sent them two by two, but He also counseled them, the harvest is great, but the labors are few. Pray therefore. Let us unite ourselves in the Eucharist. In this celebration, Jesus is truly alive and He calls each one of us. He calls others to become members, to become laborers, to become missionaries. We unite ourselves in this celebration and we continue to pray for holy priests, for holy religious, for holy missionaries, so that they too may proclaim the kingdom, may gather a people for God, in Jesus Christ. This is Father Ulrich of the Rogationist Fathers wishing you the peace of the Lord.